Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a cute and sweet girl named Ella. She was born in a lovely home to a beautiful mother, Lily, and a hard-working merchant father. They all were happy in their sweet home. Being a merchant, Ella's dad used to travel a lot. Because he wanted to give his wife and daughter all the happiness in the world, he worked hard, day and night. Every time he returned from his journey, he never forgot to bring them flowers. Beautiful flowers for my wife and daughter. Thank you. <laughs> and, my pretty darlings, I have got a surprise gift for you. What's that? My dearest, all my hard work has paid off. I have bought a mansion for us. Wow. We should be able to move there soon. Excitement. They all boarded their horse cart to start a journey to their new home. The new mansion was huge and beautiful, with a lush garden in the front. Wow, what a beautiful garden! Ella, let's plant fruits and flowers here. Mom, I love lilies. I want to grow them in a bunch. Seasons changed, the wheel of time kept spinning, and now Ella was growing into a beautiful girl. One day, while she was collecting apples in her garden, <laughs> She saw two beautiful birds. Ella fed them apples and made them her pets. You are so cute. Will you stay with me? But 
but misfortune took Ella's mother away from her. Days passed by. Cheats for you. That day, Ella's father entered the room and said, Ella, can we talk? Go out and play, little ones. But no fighting. Yes, Dad, what is it? Darling, I have married a nice lady, and she has arrived with her two daughters. I know it's difficult for you to accept, but I am doing all of this for you, for me, for us. Yes, Dad, I know. Thank you, sweetheart. Let's welcome your new mom to our home. Okay, Dad. As soon as Ella saw her new mother, she greeted her. Welcome, Mother. Thank you, darling. Oh, these lilies are so boring. Mom, we should replace them with roses. <gasps> I'll show them around. <laughs> Days passed by fairly smoothly. But then Ella's dad had business to take care of in another town. Bye, girls. Dad, you forgot your hat! <laughs> Thank you, darling! As soon as Ella's father was out of sight, Ella's stepmother and stepsisters started behaving rudely with her. Ella, don't sit with us! You must take care of the household chores, give the house a good scrubbing, and do the laundry. Poor Ella didn't know what to say. She was heartbroken to see her stepmother suddenly being so mean to her. Her sisters were giggling. It was obvious they enjoyed making her sad. Ella, I'm starving. Where is my sandwich? Ella, my sandwich too. Ella's two stepsisters and stepmother kept her busy all day long with their never-ending demands. But she never complained and did her work with a smile on her face. And while doing all the household chores, Ella never forgot to take care of her pets. She always made sure to feed Charlie and Budgie with birdseed. <laughs> Ella, stop playing around with those birds and serve us tea and breakfast. Yes, just a moment. 
Look at her. She looks so funny with cinders on her face. <laughs> Poor Ella said nothing and continued serving them tea. <laughs> Suddenly, her stepsister laughed. Oh, Mum, we can call her Cinderella, as she is always covered in cinders. Oh, you are right, darling. The name suits her. <laughs>
The fairy waved her wand and dressed Cinderella in a beautiful gown and pretty glass slippers. <coughs> Emma, you look gorgeous, dear. I don't have a carriage to take me to the ball. Oh, don't you worry. Can you fetch me seven mice and a pumpkin? I have five pets and a pumpkin. Then let us go to the garden. The fairy waved her magic wand again and turned the pumpkin into a beautiful carriage. Wow. Now, board your carriage, carriage and attend, attend the royal ball, ball and meet Prince Charming. Charming. Remember, Cinderella, you have, have to be back before the, the clock, clock strikes midnight, midnight or, or else your carriage will turn into a pumpkin and your beautiful dress into rags. I remember about the spell. Thank you for helping me. She bid goodbye to the fairy godmother and left for the ball in her beautiful carriage. Cinderella arrived at the palace and saw that everyone was already enjoying themselves at the ball. The palace was huge, with a glittering chandelier and floors that shone like mirrors. It was decorated with lights and beautiful flowers everywhere. Attention please, the prince will be joining us soon. Hi all, welcome to the Royal Ball. Wow! May I have the pleasure of dancing with you? When the prince spotted Cinderella, he was instantly struck by her beauty. He approached her and gracefully bowed. May I have the pleasure of dancing with you? Yes, of course. The prince and Ella had a wonderful time in the ball talking, and laughing, and dancing. <laughs> she suddenly remembered the fairy spell and how it would be broken when the clock struck midnight. Panicking, she started to leave. My lady, what's wrong? Uh, I have to go. Cinderella rushed out of the palace oh. before the spell was broken and in her hurry left her glass slipper behind. Cinderella was running out of the palace, and though the prince chased her, it was too late. The prince found her glass slipper on the stairs and ordered his royal guard to assemble an army. Try this slipper on every girl in the kingdom. I have to find that girl. The royal guard started searching for the beautiful girl whose foot would fit in the glass shoe. At the house, Cinderella was back doing her daily chores and taking care of her pets. Her stepsisters, as always, were lazing around. And that's when they heard someone knock at the door. 
I'm looking for the girl whose foot will fit this shoe. My daughters would love to try the shoe. Both her stepsisters tried to fit their feet in the shoe, but they were unable to do so, as the slipper was too small and delicate. My lady, will you try the shoe? She is just a servant. Yes, I'll try. As soon as she slid her foot inside the slipper, it was clear that it fit her perfectly. The prince was happy, and so were his royal guards. But her stepmother and sisters didn't understand how the shoe fits Cinderella. You are the lady from the ball. I offer you this rose as a token of our friendship. Thank you. Finally, Prince Charming and beautiful Cinderella were best friends, and they played and enjoyed in the big palace along with their pets <laughs> happily ever after.